I just went to the the weekly or recycler or you know, these magazines the rack, looking for the audition I got I, every audition I took I got because dude all these other guys were just like moving targets but it's just like oh man you but then it's like you know you're doing this audition <laughs> And all of a sudden, if there's one good guy, it's probably the reason that they're auditioned. I just, after the audition, I go, hey, the other guys are fucking losers, man. Like, hey, man, you and me. We'll do that. <laughs> and after I did, like, you know, ten of those, I found, like, this little core of guys or whatever, and then I put together a band called Carmageddon. And it was, like, the bass player that played with Psycom with Perry Farrell and the bass with this other... But he played guitar, but then the bass player that played with pill like Johnny Rotten yeah and dude and we had a, we had a good band or whatever but the thing was we got to open up for Fishbone you know that band that was those were memorable gigs that memorable gigs that changed my life that was really exceptional but but dude I was just doing whatever I could you know and then I I had a delivery job at a place and then the the guy that I was doing that with he was he was a wicked bass player and he was teaching at MI and he one of his students it was John Jeff Buckley or something. So Really? So then he, me and him and Jeff Buckley, we had a country band together. I you played. did? Jeff was rad, man. Yeah. He was, he was, a, he was a great brother, man. I, I, hung, I hung out with him a lot. And then, dude, I'll never forget, like, when we were in that band, though, man, he came in with this demo. It's like that he did in his apartment. It was four songs, and three of them were on that Grace on record. Grace, yeah. And he, he programmed all the drums on an SR-16 Alesis, but he, he didn't program, he, he did it with his fingers. Like, he dude, played it in real time. Yeah, dude, I could put that on for you, it will blow you, no one yeah, has Yeah, let's this. listen to it later. No one has this. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, I just went, kid, you're going to be the star. <laughs> he would, do, and also I have to say, that, that guy had like a photographical music memory, he did? man. We, we, after after those guys would leave and that after rehearsal, man, we, we would play like Zeppelin shit, dude. In my time of dying and stuff, was, he'd play every lead, note for note, absolutely perfectly, man. Wow. He was a real deal, and, and man. You know what else I've is, never played with another guitar player that, that Yeah, did people that. talk about his vocal powers, dude, but his right. guitar stylings when, when, were amazing. When, when he came out with that Grace record, I remember he came where he goes, man, this is my record. I was just like, at first, I was just like, what's all this singing shit, dude? Where's the guitar playing? <laughs> I was like bummed up. That's how bad of an A&R guy I would be. <laughs> it's pretty fucking funny. You should you know make a fusion I, record, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> God, I was so weird. Because I didn't recognize the genius of his voice. But the songwriting I did recognize. I just went, wow, man, he, he, he was an exceptional talent. And, I feel very lucky to be able to say, dude, I played with him for a couple of years. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> and, and so you were doing that, you were doing deliveries? Yeah, playing with Carol King and just yeah. some TV show How things. did you meet Carol? Through through that same bass player, but because he, he got hired in her band, and then and then when they weren't on the road, they are going, well, what are these guys going to do? Like, And they... they all, all these sitcoms that play in all these studios surrounding right here, they, they have they have live bands, like, so while they're moving the cameras around in between shoes, they have a band playing to try to keep the, the crowds excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so you did that? Yeah, 